about that time. We're back to Mike's One Marriage Podcast. You got Dan and Minda. Whoa. I'm wearing fall. This is for all the people who live in fall. It's not fall in Florida, but, you know, it's fall somewhere. Yeah. Uh, no, it's really it's really cold down here. Um, it's raining, and it was cold in the house. Yeah, so Minda... So I'm trying to look my best, my yeah. fall best. Yeah, Minda just got done uh, hacky sacking, so she wore her beanie. Yeah, I skateboarded right over here, <laughs> yeah, Minda, and now we're doing the podcast. Minda shred the gnar the whole way here. Yeah. Um, no, I'm all hyped. We saw Beetlejuice. We did see uh, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Uh, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Don't... I, we don't have time oh, yeah, for that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right. You're right. Come right. here. Right. Um, we got to do the podcast. <laughs> um, he'll wreck everything. Uh, but we saw the movie, and boy, was it okay. It, uh, yeah, I mean, it was fun. It was, yeah, it, it right? was. Right, fun's the right word for it, it. It was fun. Michael Keaton was still amazing yeah. as Beetlejuice. Like, every High time, marks. Every time he's on the screen, it was phenomenal. It's, it was hilarious. Like, you well, know, the writer didn't suck either. Yeah, but she was kind of like not the same character from the first one where she was well, like... Well, she had evolved. She's a woman now. She's like a mom she's now. She's been to prison. And, and you know what was... I'm saying? Like, she's gone through a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she has. No, but she was um, not quite the same as, as the original. Her daughter was kind of like how she was in the original. That's it. She's like the bratty... The full circle, you the, know? The bratty, the bratty kid now. But um, yeah, it had like... 15 different plots going on and only some of them really mattered like they make this big deal at the beginning about um you know beal juice's ex-wife and they do like a cool backstory on it which i thought was cool when they did like the story showing him like when he was still alive and he was yeah. like a grave robber i get it well you don't want to give too much away you know it's people are on the edge of their seat to see beetle juice i'm sure <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> like you don't but want to know do, too it's much. It's doing well. No, it is doing well though. But I feel like by the time whatever this episode comes out, uh, Beetle, uh, everyone will have seen it. It'll Beetlejuice, be years. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice will, will be. Out. Yeah, we'll be it. at three. His kid. Here. Yeah. That, there was a weird Beetlejuice baby. Um, well, I like the Beetlejuice baby. <laughs> of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was an odd choice. I really like the Beetlejuice um, there baby. There was a musical number that I thought could have went about half as long as it actually did. But on the good side, it was short. It yeah. was a, the appropriate length for a campy comedy. Um, it, it wasn't too long. It wasn't some two and a half hour. Like crazy, ridiculous. Yeah, which which is, it's hard just from a bladder standpoint to, to make it. These, you didn't, you I didn't make, make it. it. No, I drank a lot of water before we got there. Yeah. Um, no, I remember when uh, it was a couple uh, years ago when I saw Black Adam in theaters, which which wasn't good, um, but I, <laughs> yeah. I always drink those old fashions at the IPIC, and like, I had to pee so bad that I was like shaking, but it was in like the final fight scene. I'm like, I just I just gotta make it, I just gotta get I knew there was an end credits, but I had to <laughs> um, just make it to that, and I did, but it kind of made the last like 15 minutes of the movie pretty miserable, but, um, but no, Beetlejuice. Sounds fun. Um, what the, the best plot line, I guess, to not overly spoil it was with when it came to Jenny Ortega and the boy she met. Okay, I, so he's talking about uh, the daughter. The daughter yeah. meets a boy. Yeah, she meets a boy. Yeah, it has and, an interesting little backstory there. Yeah, yeah. There's there's some interesting interesting things in that. There was de definitely some funny moments. Um, I I had saw some people, you know, some reviews, people saying. That they didn't like Catherine O'Hara in it, but I disagreed with that. I thought she was really funny in it. And, yeah, and no, she's great. She's great in everything she's she good does. Good in everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love that bitch. So I, I did not agree with that assessment that she wasn't. That good was a in terrible it. assessment. Whoever yeah. made that assessment. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I, if I you're listening like that. and you've made that assessment, you're an idiot and you don't know anything about it was acting. The critical drinker. Uh, he's a popular YouTube well, reviewer. Fuck you, um, critical drinker. Yeah, I'm, uh, sure, he, I'm sure he'll care. Yeah, uh, well, he'll. But well uh, no, it was. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there, there was a lot, uh, and they used a lot of like, which is cool, like still like practical effects that it wasn't just all cg like the worm monster looked like it did in the original it was like stop motion and looked a little like janky moving around like yeah. it did like it was still you know kind of like claymation -y looking and 
The, the thing that I get annoyed with with these legacy sequels is they're they're so handcuffed to they have to reference everything from the original, and it's like. We had at some point they had to play the song, you know, at some point they had to go buy like the stores from the original and he had to do the thing with his face. And it's like some of these movies are so much time wasted because they just feel like they have to do these nostalgic things for people that it's like, I don't know, I think it sometimes affects the plot as far as like your yeah, so when you were showing up to Beetlejuice, you were really looking for the writing and the plot to be the thing that like captured your heart with the movie. I was looking for a Beetlejuice of the modern era, which <laughs> I somewhat got. Um, other than their their data, their dated Soul Train reference, that was. Uh, well, I don't. I mean, <laughs> I think yeah. you're forgetting that it is for a dated audience, yeah. if you will, who would enjoy such references. I don't think they made the Beetlejuice sequel 36 years later for, you know, your Gen Zer well, out they, there. They were a little bit. That's why they put what's her name in it, the young girl Jen, Jenny Ortega. I think that's I don't her know name. who she is. So I mean, she was girl. great. She's she, good enough. She's Wednesday in the show Wednesday. So, oh, so that show still on? Yeah, no, that show's really popular. Um, oh, okay. So that was, I don't know anything about this. Well, that's why that was made is because they had her on board and they knew that she would be able to sort of put some star power in because, you, I mean, you know how much kids like Michael Keaton and Catherine O'Hara, so... Well, they did what they did. Netflix, <laughs> uh, they made the move. They put the first one all over it for yeah. months leading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's just how you play the game. You know, no, you no, get you them did. to watch the old one, to go in to watch the new one. Which we did, yeah. We, I mean, we we, we watched sucked it right into it, man. It, yeah, we it was it was on every app. It was on HBO. I think it was on Netflix. Yeah, we couch cooned um, up. Couch cooned. Um, uh, I threw on some Netflix. I watched uh, the first one. So, so so what would so let's not that we like you know do movie reviews. If you were out of ten, what would you give Beetlejuice out of ten? I'm I would give it like a seven. See, I, I would give it a I would seven give and it, a half, maybe. I'd give it a six. I, I think know. it filled its its role like when i go to watch a campy comedy sequel 36 years later my personal expectations on how they're going to piece together the story and whatever kind of don't matter as much as yours like you you have a much higher expectation which is odd because you watch so much garbage marvel and dc movies that you would think at this point you would have a way lower expectation well for the record i watch everything and um mm -hmm. i watch both art house mo art house movies as well as marvel and dc um but back to beetlejuice um the my main problem with it is the original was a very simple movie i mean the movie consisted kind of of they really they just wanted to get the people out of their house so they brought in beetlejuice and this one had like 15 different plot lines going on, and they made it way more complicated than it needed to be. Got so. it. Well, I just think the first one, they had to put a lot more time and effort into, like, the special effects and stuff. And with this one, it was almost like the special effects were way lower level than what's possible today. Yeah. So they put all their extra time into storylines. I mean, what can you do? It yeah. is what it is. I don't regret seeing it. I'm glad we saw it. Um, like I said, I would give it a 6 out of a 10. I didn't think it was terrible by any means, but could have been better. I thought. I think you care about movies more than anyone should in general. Well, it's to... movies, basketball, cats, titties. I would maybe change that order a little bit. Well, I'm um, not saying that's the exact order. I'm just saying that's like the top four. I would maybe put it, I'd probably do that reverse. Titties, cats, movie. Oh, wait, oh, comedy. Oh, where does that go? Um, well, uh, uh, so we had titties, uh, let's cats, go. comedy, movies, and basketball. If we're gonna do the let's list of my, of my favorite things, yeah, it goes Minda. Oh, okay, yeah, right. God. No, that's not even true. Jesus, comedy. Then, comedy and cats are tied. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell Sammy you didn't yeah, even make the top and five. And then basketball, and then <laughs> film. And I then titties? Say. No. Um, you know, titties well, well, didn't you, make it you in there. Instead, you put Jesus no, I put instead you. of titties. <laughs> it was weird. You said God and Jesus. Well, yes. I, I prefer Christ over titties. I've always How many said times that. have you gone to church since I've known you in almost 10 years? 
Um, I would, but how I, many times? I would say I was busy this past Sunday. Uh, for the last the ten years, in the last ten years, years, how many times have you um, invited me to church with you? So I'm so I'm not I don't like go to church or like ever <laughs> read the Bible, but like so it's just or, odd like, that God and Jesus or were practice in the top religion five. at all. Yeah. But, like, uh, okay, um, so I think God is AKA titties, uh, and yeah. Jesus is AKA your kitten. No God, no titties. That's the rule. Well, your titties and you are, I mean, it's, that's like a subcategory. You're saying that's synonymous? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I'm not, because I'm you look at all titties. It's not just mine. No, I don't. No, shut up. You look, you no. look at them all. No, I don't. Of course you do. I put a parental blocker on my phone. No, so shut up. <laughs> your whole Instagram feed is kittens, basketball, and titties. It is, but I don't know how, I don't know how titties got on my Instagram feed because I, that's not where I search them, to be honest. <laughs> that's not, I do not. It's all connected. That's why. I know, but I don't, I don't get on Instagram and just like, you Instagram know, type that's in your Gmail. You probably stuff. been doing on Chrome, so. I don't. Yeah, do that's that. why you like go, not... Google, uh, you know, track you all over the place and they serve you up some titties on Instagram. No, not if you go incognito, then it can ever find. It's okay. Uh, you you um, look at as many titties as you want, as long as I don't have to get more cats. Um, oh, that's aggressively loud. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Let's take a break for a second. Whoa. All right. Ben, what was that? That was the, I don't even, that was the coffee machine, I guess. Uh I have no idea. I've never heard that before. Yeah, I know. We've done this multiple times. I, I think that's the first. Someone, I was I like, was somebody making gotta, coffee it, over I, there? That's what it yeah. would sound like. Is that it was Beetlejuice? Weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so say, you guys said Beetlejuice yeah. three times. So that, uh, was, that was weird. Is it running on All pole? right. Well, we don't know how we'll cut that out. Or we won't. Uh, you know, only high quality podcasting here. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, anyway, I would rather you have as many titties in your feet as you want instead of as many cats in the house because for who's the bitch this episode we're having a little tiff where yeah. dan thinks it's appropriate to bring more cats into the house um i don't i am going on your rule and your rule is as many cats as we have rooms no bedrooms no bedrooms you said room nope in the duplex we i have, have more a than kitchen two rooms. it was bedroom we now we're in a foyer we nope it's we bedrooms. have a living room we have the back porch thing which could honestly be two but i won't count it as two we have um two and a half bathrooms so we could get two more cats and a kitten um that counts as the half then the two bedrooms. I have an option, and I would never do this for up to nine cats. No. According to <laughs> your no, rules. No, you should never have as many cats as you have bedrooms. You said rooms when we no, first met. No, it's bedroom. It was and never we rooms. we wrote it down. It was in our vows. It was not um, in our vows. So, like, he's pushing. He wants more cats. He has a kitten fever. Yeah. It, it, it would be a baby, but he doesn't want to stay home all the time or watch it or stop doing comedy on tour. So, instead... Uh, he's pushing for a kitten, and I said we have a two cat max. Well, no, you said a cat per room, but whatever. Okay, cat so per bedroom. It's a very sensible parameter. We we I mean we have the flexibility. We did have three cats. We had three cats. Well, only because we found the last one. We didn't go like seek it out. Yeah. You're ready to go to PetSmart and peruse the adoption section. No, I'm not ready to do that. But I do when I'm outside a lot. Look. Four kittens. For random cats, you <laughs> yeah. just hope a little kitten comes across your path. Wow. Yeah. I hope Samson, your kitten, does not hear about that. We call him kitten even though he's seven years old because uh, Dan still treats him like a kitten. But if his cat knew that he was looking for supplemental kittens. It's for him. He um, Is it? It is. Is he, it he, for, he, it's he for is, him? Yeah. The attention-hungry cat you have who wants every little bit of your attention, you think... He, he wants to share your attention with a kitten? No, I think he would want to play with a kitten is what I think. Uh, and then happen. you would have to ignore the kitten. Like He no, would I have would to never, play I with the kitten never. and then you would have to ignore it for Samson to be happy. I have a lot of love in my heart that can be spread out for up to nine cats. Nine? Is that is that really that's your limit? The, that's the limit for our house according to your metrics. No, according that's to not your my metric. You keep, you're ruining the metric. We had three, we had three cats and a duplex 
Well, that was by accident. It was only supposed to be, it was a two bedroom duplex when we met. It's not like we went and got the duplex together. I was already living there alone. And I only had two cats. And then once he moved into my duplex, he found his cat uh, on the way to happy hour. And that's how we got three, even though I did try to give it away. And then it was rejected and brought back. And We tried to find a home for him we did. twice. Um, because and, we and, had a two-bedroom cat yeah. limit. No, I, it, was, it was a lot. That was a lot. For a duplex. For a oh, duplex. those too many cats. Yeah, um, the, the house But is now like, we have an upstairs downstairs. We do. So it's it's much more. So manageable. you think there's room for nine? Up to nine, I think we could. No, I, I think if I was um, for real, uh, okay, for, if real you were talk, for real, for real, real talk, talk on cat, real cat talk, I could, I think that four would be serviceable. Then okay. they could pair up um, the like tag team battles. Um, is sort of how I envisioned it. So you want four? I'm said I am open to four. That would be my max that I would oh handle. Oh my god, our oldest cat, senior cat Zorro, he would kill you if you brought two yeah, kittens into that house. Oh my god. Yeah, he would. He, he would. He would hate it. All right, um, um, let's let's move on because I can't even imagine when Zorro hears this podcast what he is gonna think. No, I think we should talk about our cats longer. I think everyone wants yeah, to hear. Yeah, you think another think five minutes wants, on cats is going to be something. Everyone wants to hear the intricacies about our cats. Normally, people love that in conversation. Well, um, well we're we not talking them. to your cats. I am like, hey, what are you looking at on your phone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boom. What's on your phone? Yeah. Looking at current events. What? Which one do you want to pick? I don't know. The other day, I was just reviewing current events and news, just uh, you know, breaking <laughs> out of my normal have habit of just kittens and basketball and titties. <laughs> oh, that's what we, well, that's what we originally had. It's all on the screen. Um, so um, yeah, these. Uh, all right. So yeah, these articles. Um, you, got, you got a favorite there? We have like a yes, list. Yes, I, I do have a favorite. We have that... a list of links, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, well, can, well, I know what they are. I don't know that you've read them. I know you read the titles. Well, why, don't, uh, why don't you kick it off? And we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, no, there's one. It was a uh, uh, BuzzFeed um, article. Okay. Yeah, what happened there? It was a very, very prestigious um, news outlet, if you guys have never been to BuzzFeed. Um, it was uh, the nude models we're, we're talking about some crazy experiences they interviewed is like maybe 10 or 12 of them uh several of them just involved the male model getting boners uh when he was up there that was probably two or three was it like a nude painting model yes yeah okay yeah. so it's like one of the nude models that you paint that you and paint, then yes. they're like what's like the most embarrassing shit that's ever happened and they're like dudes get boners all the time Th there was like three two or three different stories where they said that the guy up there got a boner while he was um while he was being painted that okay. was several of them that's the most embarrassing thing? No, there was one where the, the girl got up there and she realized she knew three or four people and were painting <laughs> her out there. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Yeah. You get up to nude bot model for a painting class and you look around and you know a few people who showed up? Well, And that happened with one other guy where he got up there and one of the people was his cousin uh, that was nude painting. So obviously that was uncomfortable. Um God, that's we. Oh, okay. That is um. All right. You know, that's almost as uncomfortable as um. When you find out that there's like a female comedian and she's fucked a bunch of dudes, <laughs> and they didn't like she didn't know that they all fucked a bunch of girls. I, I she didn't fuck a bunch of dudes. She fucked a comic, and then found out the comic had fucked a bunch of other female comics. Yes, 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 yeah. That's yeah. awkward. That's way awkward. Um, Can you imagine going to an open mic and looking around and been like, fucks him, fucks him, fucks him. I guess, like, that could be cool. Like, it could be like, yeah, I fucked him and I fucked him. Like, I'm saying it, like, in a weird way. Maybe it's cool. Maybe it's like, yo, I fucking bagged that dick and that dick. I don't know. I never lived that life. I, I didn't <laughs> live that life either um you know kind of came down here because obviously we started dating early on you're the first yeah. comic i'd ever in like 
four or five years of doing comedy, I refused to date a comedian. I was too afraid. I was afraid I was going to get in a relationship. It wasn't going to work out. And then I was going to have to like awkwardly see them in the scene or. Yeah. You know, well, like no, on a show, like a bad falling out. And then you're doing a show together. That's fucking weird. Yeah, that, that would be that'd be terrible. No. And I was, you know, I was glad to hear that you didn't because I didn't. I, I, you don't want to be the comic where you bring your comic girlfriend to the show or the mic and you have all the like dude comic snickering the back because they all banged her and it was like <laughs> i was like i did not want to be that guy no i like, turned yeah. so many of them down no you're like the hero like you're the one who like you know brought the head in like you know holding it up like detached like you did like it predator yeah <laughs> like you just overcame that shit yeah i had been batting down comedians that's that's well, I guess we're past the marriage fight club part, but like that's that that's a big fight between other couples. We see that in any kind of like creative scene, comics, musicians, otherwise, everybody knows everyone. And then inevitably people date each other, girls, guys, everyone. There's always like a handful of like, man, they fucked a lot of people. It could be girls or guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's definitely the, both sides for that. But yeah, a lot of times with the relationships, they t typically end poorly. And then it is like a situation where it's like, you can't show up at this show or you can't show up at that show because they, they might be there and it's like it's like awkward. So yeah, the scenario where, where like you said, oh yeah, someone walks in and like, oh yeah, bang, him. But it, it's not like that. It's always like, oh, I don't want to see that person so I'm going to avoid them. I feel like it's rarely like this cool sex club. It wasn't like, <laughs> I, for me, I'm like way awkward. So that shit would be mad uncomfortable. I would not be like the cool girl who'd be like, oh, bagged him and did him and oh, I let him do anal. Like, you know, where crazy shit is, is happening out there but like so when we first started dating right off the bat i did um i did a really long speech on how i couldn't date any comedians and he was like super nice and cool and it was cool that he like owned a car and had a job and stuff but like i could not date another comedian because you know i didn't want to be in that awkward situation and then i followed up the speech by making out with you in the car well you were making out with me before then you stopped to give me this speech snoozo speech about <laughs> it was like you had to just legally put it out there like it was like well the, i it like sounded the like iTunes a... privacy warning at the beginning like i had to legally um you know adhere to the terms and conditions kind of that's what i was doing like yeah. you don't know just like the itunes thing where you like just click the thing and then you don't even know but you've given them like your dna and your firstborn child what sounded like a disclaimer speech was actually saying if we continue to make out and go any farther then you have to marry me and you can never be with another comedian again <laughs> is that what it's yeah that's that? what i was really saying i didn't know at the time that's what i was saying but i think that's what i was saying yeah i yeah. mean i think it worked out that would be awkward yeah but i mean it clearly did oh look at this you can see us do this banter live <laughs> yeah on would, our two mics one marriage tour would you like to see this but us standing instead um and and i would say being funnier yeah more funny funnier i don't know what the correct grammar is um we will be more funny when we well hit yeah the stage. It, it's, it's I mean, more uh, i mean it's now. it's actual you know more constructed uh bits um well these not, aren't bits this is us just going through some shit we well, made well, up well, last i know that but yeah yeah no it's just us going over topics we don't talk about our cats for five minutes on Man, stage if we could come we up should. with five minutes about cats that was really good well i do have that organic cat food joke i could move that that's a good three minutes right there yeah yeah you you do have one one cat joke it's not specifically about <laughs> our cats no per se, no though. it's, it's a hilarious about... rant about organic pet food um yeah. you guys maybe you have to come out and see that probably never but if you come out to enough shows i might do it you um, should it's a good joke you should bring it back well I, if there's a bunch of old people there i'll bring it I back i don't think it's you've always said that like it's only works for old people like people of all ages have cats i feel like yes it's but young people don't have the disposable income for organic pet food and it's clean it's a clean joke too so you can kind of take it i don't care about cleanly you're here for clean yeah i'm here i'm, more, I like to work. I'm here for edgy uh, okay so the next time uh we see these people um 
maybe the tour will have started. So you got to check out Two Mics, One Marriage on Instagram and see when that tour is about to start in October. We got dates lined up through November and some in 2025 all the way out that far. And uh, they could check you, us out on Laughing Spree TV. Laughing Spree TV on um, Instagram, and I guess our YouTube changed. That's now the two mics. One, one marriage. marriage. You can find it under both. Yeah, you but can yeah. find, if you if you search it, you'll uh, you'll find it. Um, uh, yeah, it's just it's just look for us. Yeah, pictures of us. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I think to wrap this up. I don't know. I got, I got, I got nothing. I mean, I, it looks like based on, you know, the things we've been doing here that we could be wrapped really soon by Epcot food and wine. Epcot um, food and wine for sure. We still, we, we still have yet to talk about Mad Art. We have it on our, uh, um, oh, we're going to go that. Yeah. It's super fun museum in Dania beach that does like fully immersive multimedia. I, and you know, Overall, I give it high marks. I think some of the rooms are hit and miss, but the good rooms are like really good. It, it, it's really cool. It's a really innovative uh, museum, um, and I agree. Like there, it's all uh, things are kind of done with like electronic, and there's things like I think related to AI and stuff. And it's a very I don't know I guess sort of cutting edge sort of art experiential, Exper yeah, yeah, experiential. Um, thing, but I, I would definitely recommend it. But I agree, there were some they were like, ah, eh, didn't, that didn't really work for me. And then others, you'd be like, oh, that's really cool. And we, remember, we watched the whole uh, story of the thing that was the shadow with the guy, and he was killing. Yeah, no, deer. it got deep. It got deep in that shit. Um, it, was like shadow, and it took like twenty minutes, but it was, gosh, it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm gonna try to do some uh, experiential don't tell comedy shows where you'll have the opportunity to maybe hit the museum private late night. So. Check out Don't Tell Comedy if you want to look for that yeah. in the future. Yeah, That's super fun. Or just know, go to Mad Art and say Minda sent you. Yeah, go to Mad Art. Yeah, Don't Tell Comedy South Florida. You can always find us there. I'm at Dan Long Comedy. Uh, you can find me there as well. But obviously, follow the Two yeah. Mics, One Marriage. We're building up the page. We go appreciate the love. Go there. Hit the follow. Then go to YouTube. Hit the subscribe. And then message us. And let us know that you did that so we could be incredibly thankful and grateful and uh, comment. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. That's our show. Yeah. All right, guys. Good night, Peace everyone. out. We'll talk or to you all later. Morning.